and welcome back to my channel. So today I just have a quick speed bake for you. Basically, I decorated a cake and I just sped it up so you don't have to watch it for the long-winded version that it is originally. And this is just a little one, um, nothing too big, nothing crazy. So this is actually just like a one layer cake of actually strawberry cake if you were interested. And I've just got an assortment of colors to go with my color scheme because I'm actually using on top, you can kind of see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little chocolate owl that we'll be putting on the cake and he's kind of the focal point of what I was trying to do. So the yellow, red, and pink actually pull from his color scheme, which you'll see in here in a little bit. And then white just helps break up some of those colors. And I really like using white, especially in the design I'm about to show you on top of the cake. It just helps break apart so it's not so intense with all the different colors. And so what I'm doing here is actually just adding like a little ruffle design on the cake. So basically you just take the tip and you kind of just go up and down and create the ruffle. And it's really nice, especially on the side of a sheet cake or just on the side of a cake that you don't feel like having to smooth out and make perfectly um, smooth. And you know, that could be a little bit faster. Or if you just like the design, it's a very delicate design. It just looks really nice. Um, so you can see here, I'm starting to add some rosettes in the pink. So I wanted to make pink that focal color. Um, that I wanted a lot of throughout the cake. So I started with it and I made it kind of the biggest rosette. So it has that um, centerpiece kind of look to it. And then I went in and added that bright yellow. Again, it's not like a super dark color because I do come back with like a deeper red and helps give like pops of color throughout it, but doesn't take away from all the other colors. And then, so yeah, you can see here, I'm just kind of putting them in some of the spaces. And so like for the red, I'm just using dots of the red. I'm not making like huge rosettes. And then I come back with this same tip I used to make the ruffle and just kind of put those little ruffles around the big rosettes to help set those off. And again, just kind of break apart all the colors on top of the cake. So it's not quite as overwhelming. And what I really like about this design is it's just very organic. It's just kind of like however you feel just whatever you want to do. There's no rules. And then I went back with that same tip with the pink and just put a couple dots here and there. So just kind of filling in all of those little spaces that create get, get created while you're doing all of the rosettes. You just inevitably end up with a bunch of little spaces left over, but you can fill those in as well as layering them. So if you just feel like you need a little more height somewhere, you can just add in some more dots or more rosettes. And it's really just adding stuff until you feel happy with it. Um, and I also have an assortment of sprinkles on the side there. I have some Wilton sprinkles and some Sweet Apolita sprinkles. Sweet Apolita, you may have heard me talk about before, but it is my favorite sprinkle brand. brand. I've got like a ton of them. I've got a huge cabinet of them. I may have a problem, but you know, that's all right. And then just adding in a little more space, like stuff around the owl, just like filling in any gaps there were. And then the fun part will be at the end, just getting to actually add all those sprinkles. So I have some metallic sprinkles. We've got some pearls over there, as well as some like little hearts, which I think goes with this like Valentine's Day theme I had when I made this cake. Cause I actually saw the owl at the store and I couldn't just leave him there. I had to bring him home. And he actually, the heart that he has says, you're a hoot. <laughs> Um, awesome owl pun to put on the cake. But it's just this really nice, simple idea that actually looks really intricate, but it's actually very fun to make. And there's not like a whole lot of pressure when you're doing this. Again, it's just like starting with the bigger sprinkles and just putting them around, kind of like we started with the big rosettes and then just adding in the smaller sprinkles wherever you feel like they're needed. So it's very simple, very organic. And so I hope if you get a chance that you'll actually try it out. And again, would look great on basically any cake. Um, and of course you can do this in any color and use any sprinkles you like. And I used chocolate, but if you don't even have to have like a centerpiece, you can just do the whole top like I did the rest of the cake. But if you're still here, thank you for listening. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I do have some pictures and close-ups of the cake that'll be coming to you in just a minute. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a really sweet day. Bye everybody.